Hey guys, we're at the Building Performance Training Center in Washington, and they had a really perfect setup for me to explain something real quick that we get a lot of questions on. So there's different kinds of furnaces, and you might not know which kind you're looking at if you're a professional out in the field, if you haven't been trained on it, or if you're a homeowner and you're like, I don't even know what I'm, <laughs> what I'm seeing here. So there are three main types of furnaces, something that's used more in the north than in Atlanta where we're based now. This is called natural draft. Natural Draft has this draft hood where you can, if you want to, stick your hand up into where the gases that have been combusted are going. So down here, the gas comes in, the manifold is right here, and then it goes in and the fire happens down here. Then it goes through this do -do 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 heat exchanger, and then the gases come out up here and uh, go up into this guy right here. The fact that I can reach in here means that the only thing that's powering those gases to go outside, which is where you always want them to go, is their buoyancy. So these are gonna be like hotter than 500 degrees. Don't stick your hand in here in real life. Like this is just, I'm just showing you. So you can use a flashlight, see up in there. Natural draft is then replaced by an 83%, this is 80% efficient, 83% efficient, and by the way, that's how they're manufactured to be, probably less efficient than that if they're older. This right here is called a draft inducer. This is called an induced draft system. So what happens first on this system is instead of the uh, thermostat saying, oh, it's cold in here, and then woof, fire happens, first thing that'll happen is you'll hear this and that'll last for about 30 seconds. Then you'll hear and it sets the fire down here. Then it goes through the do-do-do-do-do heat exchanger and comes through this, which just basically pulls very slightly on the uh, heat exchanger to induce the gases to go in there and to go up and into your flue here. But it's not then pushing them out. So they still depend on their buoyancy to go up through here. We can drill, uh, install test ports and, and test the combustion and the draft pressures of both of these. And these are both supposed to be negative drafts. So if there is a hole left like this in your flue, that's okay because the air should be going in and never coming back out. Now on this one over here, this is called sealed combustion. And this one has a uh, fan that is pulling air into the combustion chamber from outside. Then it's totally sealed. I can't get in there, everything is, is tightened up. And if you do see any holes in this, they should be plugged up. Then the fire goes through its uh, multiple heat exchangers. In this case, this is a 90% or more efficient machine. Then this fan is also then pushing those gases up through this pipe and to outside. If you see PVC pipes, it's sealed combustion. If you only see one of them and this one is missing or this one just comes up and doesn't do anything, that means that they're cheating you out of one of the benefits over these two, which is that you get all your combustion air from outside and send it all to outside. You don't want to cheat it because that's like a major, the safety part of this is very important. So if you don't want to be able to drill another hole in your wall, you can use a concentric vent, which both sends air to outside and pulls air from outside through one hole in the wall. That's a very nice way to do that. Now there's one last type of draft control device, which is this right here. It's called a barometric draft uh, damper. And it's just basically this weight that you can dial this little, uh, it's just a, a screw with a nut on it. And you can kind of adjust the weight of how, when this thing activates. There's a, another bit on the backside here. If you see this installed on one of those, then it's starting to mess with what is happening. And the only reason for this to be there is because those didn't work the way that they were supposed to, which that shouldn't really happen. So just be wary if you see this installed on a flu in your house or in one of your client's houses, uh, it means that something is a little bit off uh, in general and you should do extra testing just to make sure that you understand how everything is working. All the air should be going into this thing all the time and never coming back out. I hope this has been illuminating. There's lots more to talk about. Obviously, this was a quick tour. So if you have other things to add, comment below. If you have questions also, put them in the comments. I'll address those myself. Like, subscribe, tune in next time.